Okay guys, I'm about to um, do a straw set on my hair. I've been transitioning for 10 months, just in case you didn't watch um, the videos pre previously. I've been transitioning um, to natural for about 10 months now, and um, a little over 10 months now, and I'm going to do a straw set. So I wanted to show you guys what I do in preparation before I um, put the straws in. So I've already put my leave-in conditioner um I, this Cantu shea butter i don't use a whole lot of it because it kind of leaves like this greasy film on my hair so i just use like a little little bit um i'll show you guys i probably use about that much through my whole head which i don't know if that even does anything but it makes me feel better to know that i um put a leave-in conditioner in there i'll go ahead and rub that bit in there real quick um and I use this healthy hair butter from Carol's Daughter um, just around my edges. And I've actually already put some in the front, so I'm just going to do the back real quick. And I've already put some around the front, so it looks a little bit more moisturized. And this is where part of my bangs is cut short on the side. And here's what my bangs look like. So if you're wondering what these short pieces are in the front, um, I do have bangs. So. so the next thing I do is section off my hair into le at least four sections to make it easier um, to deal with when I put the straws in. So you have to make sure that all your hair is combed out because you don't want to have to stop and um, detangle your hair once you start doing the straws because it usually takes me at least two to three hours to put all the straws in just because I have some some uh, small straws and um, it's hard it's hard to keep my permed hair wrapped around some of the straws without actually um, wrapping it around and getting it tangled so I take my time and do it um, so that I don't tangle my hair up so so again it might seem like I'm combing my hair real hard but I'm actually not um, this comb just makes a lot of noise see I don't none of my hair came out so um, section and I'm actually going to put my bangs in their own clip too because I do the, do that section um, by itself just because those pieces of hair are shorter obviously than the rest of my hair. So I try to comb out as much as I can and section it off. And if you haven't invested in some of these clips, whether you're going natural or not, if you have to do any kind of styles or you condition your hair really good, these th these clips are really useful. So I washed and conditioned my hair with um, the VO5 Moisture Milk Shampoo and Conditioner and used Moisture Max um, Shampoo, or excuse me, Moisture Max Leave-In Conditioner for my leave-in conditioner treatment. And you will need one of these rat tail combs. Um, it makes it a lot easier to section off the back. And another suggestion that has nothing to do with your hair, I guess, um, since these, this style takes a long period of time, I suggest you do it sitting down if you can and probably pop in a good movie or something that you don't have to keep fooling around with the TV because 
every minute counts I think when you're doing a straw set just because it takes a long time but I can get one to last probably a week if I wanted it to um, but I'm not a big fan of um, hairstyles that last for a long time uh, that's why I can't transition with braids I thought about it a few times but I don't know how that would work considering that I like to I like to feel my scalp and have to feel my hair so my hair is now sectioned off and I'm going to use olive oil formula uh, olive oil formula growth therapy to oil my scalp and I'll do each section because since your hair is going to be done up um, in those curls for a few days you need to make sure that you moisturize your scalp because if you don't have a healthy scalp then I don't see how you can have healthy hair so I make sure I oil my scalp real good and I'm only putting that on my scalp I'm not really putting it on my hair Put a little bit around my edges because my edges seem to get dry because no matter what I do I always get my hair I always get my hair wet in the shower and um, it doesn't stay very moisturized because I always get it wet so I use this even when I'm flat ironing my hair um, it's ion daily solutions it's silk drops I put um, a little bit of this in my hand I don't know if you can see it without me emptying it out. It's right here. Just a little bit because this gets really can get really oily if you use a lot. And actually distribute that through my hair so that it's moisturized and it's not gonna be all dry looking when I do my straw set. So, I basically do that for each second, excuse me, each section, and um, my hair is already starting to dry. I do notice that my natural hair dries faster than my permed hair. Um, I let my hair air dry one day, and um, it dries really, really fast. But that was when I didn't, I didn't put any kind of products or anything in it. So I'm just grabbing sections in the back and to grease my scalp. And you really want to make sure that you get um, oil on your ends. I just wanted to let you guys see what my hair looks like right here. This part of my hair in the back is pretty much all natural. So... Clip that part. So I'm going to go ahead and section off the rest of my hair and um, put my products in real quick and then I'll come back to you once I've gotten um, the back part of my hair because it's going to be hard for me to show you how I'm doing the back part and roll it up at the same time. Um, it's just harder to do. It's harder to do the back all together because you can't see in the back of your head. So um, I'll get right back to you once I um, get everything sectioned off and probably get to the middle part of my hair. I'll show you how I um, roll it up on the straws and clip it. Um, but the product you will need in order to do a straw set. Now this is my product of choice. I use Motion Motion 
God, I can't talk today. Motion, um, foaming lotion, foaming wrap lotion. And it's kind of sticky if you use a whole lot. So I wouldn't advise using a whole lot of this because it can get sticky um, a little bit. But they have two different formulas. And this says for ultimate hold for wet sets and, and uh, wrap styles. I've never used anything else. Um, so I don't know if any other kind of set in lotion. If it's not a foam lotion, I don't know how those work. This is just what I use. But, um... You'll need this and just this um, extra hole, any kind of gel. Um, I use this kind just in case some of your edges, excuse me, some of your ends don't stay on the um, straws because my ends are still kind of straight. So though I run into that problem trying to get them to um, stay on the straw. So this too. So I'll be back in a second after I. Um, finish oiling my scalp and putting the rest of the products in.